and gentlemen, this is AL Automotive Reviews, and today we have here the revealing of the 2021 Ford Bronco. And we're going to take a look at some pictures, and I'm going to take our way through it, and I'm not going to say a word, and I'm just going to let you guys enjoy this. It's AL Automotive Reviews. Remember, share, like, and subscribe. I'm not going to say no words at first, and then afterward, I'm going to start talking, but I'm just going to go through these slides. Thank you. 2021 Ford Bronco.
2021 Ford Bronco is finally revealed and it's everything, everything that the world is hoped for. It was originally set to be revealed last week, but everyone knows that it coincided with O.J. Simpson's birthday and there was an issue. Now the Bronco has finally returned after 25 years of a hiatus. The 2021 Ford Bronco has been the most anticipated automotive reveal of this year. And there's been endless spy shots as which you guys have seen on the video. Endless rumors, leaks. Now, you can finally put it, all the speculation to rest. You can finally put aside all of the renderings. And this is the real deal. Ford has built the ultimate Wrangler fighter. Uh, this time, the Bronco isn't just a single model, but a family of models. That also includes a less expensive uh, Bronco Sport variant based on the Ford Escape. Now sitting at the top of the range, is the Bronco two-door. Now the original Bronco had the iconic design and even with modern safety regulations, Ford made sure to stay true to his model. Uh, Ford designed a new Bronco by scanning the first generation model to, in order to capture the body lines for what they would call the modern interpretation. It features uh, awesome flat surface, surfaces, square proportions with a wide stance and flares and fenders with quick access. Now, this shifter and everything about this, the leather, the, um, the stitching, and even the plate that you see, the Ford Bronco plate, everything in this is just so authentic and it's just so utilitarian. It's just off the chain. And all of these things that you see that got the boats in it, they're removable. What a sharp SUV. The Bronco has certainly elevated every aspect of off-road adventuring. This is um this SUV is on a class leading chassis. Exclusive technologies that raise the bar of the 4x4 segment and it'll take you further into the wild. Of course, this is what the chief operating officer of Ford has said, and his name is Jim Fairley. We built toughness. We took the toughness of the F Series truck and the performance spirit of the Mustang and wrapped it all in one. And this is a stunning, functioning, off-road machine infested with Bronco design DNA and a sharp sharp interior folks definitely nice Now, like the Wrangler, the Bronco offers an open-air driving experience. With a removable three-section roof on the two-door model on four door sec in four sections uh, roof on the four-door models, uh, Ford says the three-door model has space to tow the front roof panels. And that's inside the vehicle. You don't have to leave it in the garage. And a, a cloth top comes standard on the four-door models. And you could opt for the hard top, or you could even get both. And the doors can also be removed and stored inside the vehicle. And unlike the Wrangler, the cowl mounted side mirrors, they're mounted to the cowl. You don't lose visibility when the doors are removed. And as you can see here, that makes a hell of a difference. The new Bronco rides on a fully boxed, high-strength steel chassis 
with independent front suspension that should make it more road friendly than the Wrangler and still retain that off-road performance. Now at the rear there's a solid axle with coil lever springs and links that will provide plenty of off-road capability. Uh, Ford's going to offer the available disconnection semi-active hydraulic stabilizer bar which enables maximum wheel articulation and increased round angle index for those off-road angles that make off-roading an adventure. Ford had designed a Bronco with off-roading in mind and helped to achieve this dirt conquering uh, capability. It's going to be offered with two engines, that's a 2.3 liter four-cylinder producing a whopping 270 horsepower and 310 foot-pounds of torque. Now most Bronco uh, customers are going to opt for the 10-speed automatic, but the four-cylinder is going to be available with the 7-speed manual and it's going to have that low-speed crawler gear which is a ratio of 94.75 to 1. Now the larger V6 model is going to be producing 310 horsepower and 400 foot-pounds of torque and it's going to be paired with the automatic. Now the Bronco of course we all know it's going to have the GOAT system and that's to go over any terrain now these include the normal, the eco, the sport, the slippery, sand, baja, mud, ruts, and rock crawl. Now customers can select a base of advanced 4x4s. Uh, the form of which is going to offer a two-speed electronic transfer case. The advanced 4x4 system adds a two-speed electromechanical transfer case with an auto mode for on-demand engagement for two high and four high. This is just some of the pics that we saw earlier. Now power is going to be sent out to a Dana 44 Advent Tech solid rear axle and the Dana Advent Tech independent front differential uh, with available Spicer performance track electronic locking differentials. Now there's going to be an exposed tow hooks and steel bumpers with an available integrated winch mount which should come in handy uh, should you go off and get stuck. Now the tough off-road trails is going to make it be really easy in these Broncos. The trail toolbox, a suite of off-road functions which include trail control, low speed off-road cruise control, trail turn assist, torque vectoring uh, to reduce the turn cir circle and what that means is that one of the wheels lock in place and the whole vehicle just turns which increases the um, which makes for a tighter circle. Uh, slow rock crawling mode which is the uh, the trail one pedal drive and the new Bronco also tells the uh, 11.6 inches ground clearance and a maximum of 29 degree brake over angle uh, 37.2 degree departure angles and water fording capability of 33.5 inches and that's going to be nice going through the, going through the streams. Uh, Ford would even offer 35 inch tires for, from the factory and that's going to be a part of the Sasquatch package. And that's just going to be an awesome, awesome setup. Now inside the Bronco, it's going to be very comfortable. Uh, keeping a the rugged theme, all the interior surfaces are going to be wipeable. And some models are going to be include rubberized uh, floors and integrated drains. And that's going to be quite nice. And it's going to have green, it's going to be um, what they call marine uh, grade vinyl seats. And that's what you see here, it's not leather. Now the shifter and the GOAT controllers are both going to be located conveniently in the center console 
with available grab handles as you can see here now there's also going to be an available 12 inch sync 4 uh, touch screen and on the infotainment there's going to be the modular dash that's also going to include the built in mounting points for 12 volt power for cameras navigation uh, units and what have you let's see if we can get a better hang on that and this is up it's going to be up here where you can mount the GoPros and everything else as well and the navigation is going to have 1000 curated uh, trail maps across the United States so it's going to come ready and prepared for action folks now just like the Wrangler the Bronco will be available with several different uh, trim levels depending on how um, you plan to modify your vehicle there's going to be um, blank canvas for owners who uh, wish to go wild you know on the aftermarket um, now in the big bin there's going to be a big bin a black diamond and the outer banks uh, models which add uh, those creature comforts uh, the wind the, the wild track in the badlands is going to offer off-road capabilities and it's going to be in a limited production first edition that's going to be offered and there are going to be several different trim levels uh, and there's going to be four content packages several available options 11 colors and more than 200 dealer install accessories uh, pricing for the two door is going to be starting at 29,995 bucks and that's going to include the $1,495 destination and delivery fee now Price, more price and information is going to be uh, revealed soon. Now reservations are now open, and believe it or not, they're accepting deposits as low as a hundred bucks. You can't beat that, folks. This is the 2021 Ford Bronco. Thanks for watching, folks. Remember, share, like, and subscribe. And you are the AO family. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos.